so there's a massive new Tower Heroes balance change, and a lot of units got changed for the worse or for the better this update. And people are confused of what the good towers are since um, Branch got a pretty hefty nerf and Scientist got a pretty co pretty bad cost nerf. So we're just going to be looking at today what the, what the best towers are and just let's get into the video. We're going to be, what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be overlooking all the buffs and nerfs, seeing, like making a tier list of this update where the towers are at now and then making a final conclusion so here we go the first buff of this update is that beatrice got a buff the buff is bees now attack faster and will stay locked on to targets so let's just see how much better that makes beatrice so let's just test beatrice against this boss alien and see if beatrice can finally take down the boss alien because it hasn't been able to without Spectre. <laughs> Bunny's base damage at level 5 is now higher, but his ability gives less buffs. And as you can see on screen right here, he also got a couple nerfs. <laughs> He's just the same than what he used to be. There's not much of a change. Here's where things become wild, okay? I've done some testing off recording and this new Bebo is actually better than the Bebo before the doors update. And I'll show you really quick. But Fracture now has a smaller footprint as a trade-off. He's now expensive with a longer cooldown. I don't see a single reason why they had to do this. It's not even that much of a change. Like, I remember his range, like, being on the footprint. I remember being on there. And now it's just slightly inside of it. There is no reason they had to do that and increase his rate. This seems more of a nerf than a buff more of a nerf, and also his cost increase. This is bad, right here. He used to be a really cheap option for early game, just to get him to level 2 early. This is also really bad. I remember him being like 1,900 or something. Uh, that's bad. This is not that bad, because I remember him being like 3,500. This is... I don't think this even changed. And yeah, I, I don't think that was necessary at all. Crows now will stay locked on to targets and have increased damage across all levels. The best part is this is, isn't even true. As you can see right here, it's only level 2 and 3 that got their prices changed. Not even level 5. So, this tower is just the exact same. There isn't even a change. Like, what is this? Keith's boomerang is now faster and decreases less HP per enemy hit. Damage has been lowered to compensate. This is the first one where Keith actually has gotten worse. Like, he does less damage now because of the damage, um... Because the damage removal, but I just want you to notice something, alright? Keith is not meant for bosses. He is meant for enemies. So, this buff is actually good, because it used to be that- Because not all maps like this. The only map that's like this is Bleak Barrens. The only map that's a straight line is Bleak Barrens. But now, since his boomerang is f faster, because most maps have like curves all around the place, now that his boomerang is faster, he can deal with curves much, 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 much better than he used to. So this is actually quite a good buff. And as you can see, if I- spawn a horde of just of just alien all right just 50 of them and then we have these keith against the alien you can see he'll do very good against these alien very good he's meant for enemies not bosses soda pop is now significantly cheaper so 
this buff has made Soda Pop actually very, very, very good. Let me just sell Spectre real quick so we can look at this better. This wasn't changed too much. I remember this being 1,000. And then this changed a lot, I believe. I remember this being 3,100. Now it's 2,600, which is quite good. Then this, I think, was 5,000. 5,100, 5,000, 5,100, and 5,100, I, I just remember it being 5,100, so this is also quite good, and then this, this used to be 6,000, I believe, I'm not sure, but this buff is quite good, even though that's literally all they did, is just change the cost, it has made Soda Pop a pretty 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 good tower because soda pop was already good but it's mainly its only problem was its um cost because its cost is just unbearable and this tower is already just better than keith like don't use keith use soda pop sparks kilowatt is now cheaper at later levels i remember this this is the same this is the same i don't think this was the same i think this was 4900 but i'm not sure then this is 5,500, this is 5,500, now, before, before it was 6,000, I believe, now it's 5,500, and, yeah, they, they just made, they just got rid of all of Sparks Kilowatt's flaws and just made it better. Wafer now has a faster rate and is cheaper. Damage has been lowered to compensate. Okay, so, my boy Wafer, I've already said how good Wafer was, but... They made them a lot better in this update, so let's just take a look at that. Remember, Wafer is kind of RNG because he's like distance based. It practically is. I'll show the simulation again. The closer the enemy gets, the more damage he does, and the farther it is, the less damage he does. So, the the farther the enemy is, less damage he does. But the closer the enemy is, enemy is, the more damage he does. So, let's just test him against the Molten Brawler. So all the wafers have stopped attacking and let's compare this new damage to wafers old damage really quick. So these are two screenshots. One of them is from my old video, the wafer damage, and one of them is the new one. As you can see, the new wafer is much, 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 much more better. Much better. A 4,000 damage difference from just looking at it blankly. That's very, very good. Alright, it's time we move on to the nerfs. Scientist is now significantly more expensive at later levels. So let's just look at Scientist's cost real quick. So, the same. This changed. I know that because I use Scientist all the time. This is to be 1,900. So, 100 mana increase. This, I believe, is a... It, it was definitely changed. It was like... 3,600 beforehand. This was also definitely changed. This used to be like a 6,500. Yeah, 6,500 to max, so 500 mana increase. Honestly, not that bad of a, not that bad of a nerf. The scientist is still in the meta. Branch will now attack less at levels three to four. He also has a general pr price increase. You all know my opinion on Branch. I think he's super overrated and. Not very good. He's good, but he's overrated in my opinion. So let's just take a look at Branch's cost increase. So, this is the same. The same. This is not the same. This used to be 3,000, like... 3,900. Then, um... This is different too. This used to be like 5,800. And... It's not that bad either. I think Branch is... Pretty much the same. Lur's ability now scales faster. His cooldown has also been increased. So, okay. Now we are on to the juicy stuff with Lur. And let's just take a look at that. So, his ability now scales faster. I saw, I saw this yesterday when I was playing with the guys the new map. You should definitely watch that live stream. 
And practically they ruined his ability. I... There was no reason they had to do that. No one used his ability already. And it's just so much more expensive. Just wait for this to charge up really quick. Yeah, 16k for the second one. If you knew, that would be... That is like the sixth ability. And now it's the second one. Let's see the third one. Even, even worse. This would be like the... 25th one or the 24th one like and this is the third one not like anyone uses ability anyway and also the cooldown I remember it at level 5 being like 1.9 or something so that doesn't really matter so lore is still on the meta in my eyes hot dog Frank hot dog Frank now has slightly less damage across level 3 and 5 so let's just take a look at Frank over here. So let's just see that damage really quick. So yeah, this used to be like 40 or something. So that's 40 or 50. I don't really remember. This used to be like 70 and this used to be like 90. I don't, I don't really know, but I think he's still very, very good. Volt. Volt point mana gain has been completely removed. Okay, so we can't really test this in sandbox, but Volt is a good tower anyway. Bite now has a slower attack rate through level 4 and 5 and is more expensive and has less range. Why did they have to do this to Bite? They killed him in Destiny's Dawn and now he's even worse. Let me just take a look at this. Okay. Wow. That used to be like so much more. Oh my goodness. He's... Chef has the same... Wait. Wait, 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 wait. Chef has the exact same range as Bite. Why? Why they have to do that? Bite is so bad. Just use El Goblino. They killed poor Bite. Like, oh man. Like he, they already like ruined him in the Destiny's Dawn update. Now he's even worse. Like why? Car Kid's invincibility now does less damage. Okay, let's test this out really quick. So here we are with Car Kid. So let's just see how it affected him. The invincibility so let's just spawn a bunch of enemies and discount dog discount dog level three through five cost more mana okay level three through five cost more mana i saw this yesterday on my stream definitely shouldn't Definitely, definitely should watch it. Definitely, definitely. So we have our boy discount dog over here. So this is the same. This is the same. This is three, five hundred more, and this is, I think, five hundred more too. So that's not that bad. They, they didn't do much to discount dog. Spectre level three's price has increased. It's just level three. It is literally just level 3, and I think they increased it by like 200. There is no reason to do that. They Balloon Pal's price has been increased across all levels. Okay, so, Balloon Pal. This used to be 1,100, now it's 1,600. This used to just be 2,000, now it's 2,300. This used to be 2,002, no, I, I, I don't know this, I don't remember, but yeah, that's quite bad. And then this was 5,500, so they just burnt Balloon Pal. And lastly, Stella. Stella's summons rate is slower and her redraw cost has been increased. So Stella's just Stella, so let's just see how much it has increased by. Uh, I remember this being like 12. They increased it by 2 seconds. That's so exciting. So here we are, we have a tier list of all the towers who got a change this update and we're going to be seeing how they land on a tier list so first we have Bebo when doors update came out he was a D now he is an a this is this is hard I want to put him at S but I think he's top of A because he's still not the old Bebo he, he's still not the, the old the old guy he's still not what he used to be if he was what he used to be if they reverted all what they did in the doors update he'd be s but i think he's a 
Next we have Wafer, who is before he was like C B. Now I believe he deserves A. He is pretty, pretty, pretty good. Next we have Soda and Soda Pop because of the price and price change. Practically, that got rid of all of Soda Pop's problems, so that beats people on S. I think. Like, there is, like, it would be up here, but it's just not. Like, it would be up here, but it's not. Next, we have Bite Who's F. They killed him. He's dead. He's gone. He d he Why? They just literally murdered him. They're... El Goblino is just a better option. He's just so much better. There's no reason of using Bite, because they just keep nerfing and nerfing and nerfing him, and now there's just no point of using him. Sparks is S. Sparks was a good tower, and they didn't have to give it a buff, but they gave it a buff, and Sparks is now an S tier tower. Just wild, just S tier tower. Next, we have Branch, who's B tier, just B. All of these towers are better than him. They just outclass him. Just Branch is the borderline of good, but he's just not very good, in my opinion. We can get these guys out of the way. They're all, they're all S tier. You can't change them, they're all necessary, except maybe Discount Dog, but if you're playing on hard mode, you need Discount Dog, so... Discount Dog is a... S tier. Lore is also S tier, top of S tier. Very good. The change didn't change anything, really. Frank... is... also S tier. I'm putting him there. I'm... Frank is just good with soloing so many maps he is so 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 good and you just need him Quinn was bottom of A tier bottom of A tier bottom of A tier and because they didn't really change much on level 1 they got rid of its 10 damage I forgot to go over Quinn by the way on the actually like experimenting and testing out stuff but they didn't really change much to Quinn. I don't think they changed even the level 5 damage too much. It's just the bottom of 8 here. Scientist? There's better options. But, sah. Bottom of S. Bottom. Bottom of S. Volt is right... I believe he belongs right there. Volt is a very, very good tower. Very underused. He can deal with crowds very well. He isn't much of a... Much of a Volt isn't much of a boss damage, but he's still very, very good. Next is Keith, who's going right straight into C tier. Um, they He just sucks. He just sucks. I don't think they... Like, they changed him. They made him better for curvy maps, but... I believe if I put him up here, it's just... It'll ju it just doesn't look right. He doesn't look like he's a B tier. He's a C tier. Definitely C tier. Cart Kid, the nerf wasn't necessary. But it's not that bad, so I put him in B tier. Because Cart Kid is Cart Kid. He's still very good. But actually, Cart Kid is a bad tower by it now. I'll just keep him at B. Bunny? Uh, probably also C. I don't need to go into much explanation here. Stella is S. There is. Stella is just the best tower in the game. Haze is a B. And I don't think I'll say much about that. Because Haze is. Haze is just a underused tower too in my opinion he's very good in my opinion he's just super underused next year fracture who fracture is going in da i don't know d or c i'll probably put him in d because all they did was make his footprint a bit smaller and then kill his cost and also kill his um kill his cost what what was the main thing he was known for being very cheap and then Beatrice is just going in F. Beatrice is Beatrice. So yeah. Now here are the meta towers. Here are the towers you need to use to win now. Including A. You can use A in the S tier. These are the meta towers right here. All of these. A and S tier. These are the towers you should use in this new update. All of these other towers can be used but uh aren't aren't very very good in today's meta so i hope that's the video i hope this helped you guys out and 
Goodbye.